We're back on the classic show called the Fish and Corn Show. The classic show. And um, we've been talking about our travels, but in certain eras, we're moving into the era, a new era. I mean, corn is the, do you see that the koi pond going to be started? Uh, I mean, it's in partial construction, but is it going to be a time when, oh, be, oh, let me tell you. My construction's almost done. It's about fucking time, dude. Hey! Get down from there, you bitch. Paddington? Paddington. Get down. And that's our other co-star. Co-star Paddington. From, uh... Hating from... Tijuana, BC. <laughs> Total TJ dog. TJ? Total the TJ dog? You dog. You know, sit there, uh, guest, guest, the guest, not guest, actually host. She's a hostess with the mostess. Anyway, so we were saying uh, the koi pond. Koi pond, yeah. And I don't know, dude. That that just requires me hacking away at it for a week. And there was a tree trunk that was an era. There was the fucking that time when you burned your patio, your old patio, oh, for no. a good old fucking forty months or something. <laughs> that that took. That took almost eight months to get rid of all that shit. So there's gonna be a time when you just one day just say fuck it. I'm you know what it is. It, it's it's. I just haven't gotten to the critical mass of it. It's like me and the flooring. We had that flooring there for like fucking a month. I was doing other shit, but then there's this period where rest, you know, because I got my elbow sore. But then there was one day it just, you just there's no floor, it's just blank. Yeah, it just and you it. just. Open up a box to see how it goes together, and you just start laying, and then just, well, I guess I started. Yep, that's basically it on that one. I mean, I've got all the materials. I just gotta, gotta do it, and doing it requires me digging. digging. Which is no problem for you. You like it. Well, no, yeah, but I gotta set aside the time for it. Because there's other shit Because it's physical activity. It's digging a hole. But it'll be done this year, right? Hmm? It'll be done this year, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, these eras, because it's like you sit back and we'll have an episode, the Grand Breaking episode, which uh, maybe, no, we'll get to 300 episodes before the whole, uh, yeah, it ain't going to happen tomorrow. It ain't going to happen probably two weeks from now, but I'm sure at some point the hole would be digged. Dug. The hole would be dug. Dig dug. Dig dug. And what, is it... Um, it's, it's San Diego t- uh, soil, so it's pretty stiff, right? Well, the thing is, once you, I mean, once you break past a certain level, it's not so bad. But it's getting around that dead tree that's kind of a hassle. You know what I like the saga of? Is the guy over here. <laughs> you, the corn has this pile down. that's going down the, cl- the cliff here that is, uh, it's, he's taking, he's at, it's like landfill style that he's created his own mountain. And um, the neighbor is not too happy with it, but it's not his land. Fuck him. <laughs> and See you in court. <laughs> but I like how you you're turning this organic material into like usable fucking um, soil. Because I marvel at the corn's ability to garden because he uses his his own mix. Because I saw Long that mix. clippings and shit. Yeah, and the, I saw right there by uh, the barbecue area that there you doing that whole thing with the styrofoam again. The styrofoam filler or adamant. What's that do? It just makes it like earthworm style. It breaks. It yeah, it's loose. To get from turning it into a fucking brick. Fucking brick, yeah. I like that. And if you go into a hill, maybe that's what your neighbors do. <laughs> what's up with the styrofoam? You have a fucking 70 inch, the whole box goes out. You should do that. And you can just tell the authorities, hey, I'm just making soil. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you show them around the corner and they'll say, I guess he's not lying. There's the styrofoam in the mud. Uh, yeah, I, I am not I am not the kind of neighbor you want. <laughs> Litigious and willing to uh, fight things in court. But that's the thing is that you're able to do these things. Oh, well, that's the point. <laughs> mm. Actually, guys, this cigar I, I have my built-in costs. Yeah, that's the thing. He's... The corn's willing to... It doesn't cost me anything to litigate anything. It costs them plenty to litigate things. 
But if you got a neighbor that was on that the train. asshole fought that fucking uh, you know fence thing. Nine thousand dollars later, is that fence thing fixed yet? Nope. And he could have had money. And we could have just paid him money twice that amount of money had he played the game the way we wanted it to be played. But and now, you would have given him cash, like eighty two yes. hundred eighteen k cash, cash on the barrel, and then we build a wall the way we want it. How would you have done it? Huh? How would you have done it? It's a retaining wall. Like a, a lower mm-hmm. to help him out. And but it would have, it would have uh, kept our view intact. He didn't like that. No, that's the thing. He didn't want that. He wanted to fuck us. So in an effort to fuck us, he continued to litigate it. And in that effort, he lost. And they stuck with nothing except so, a bill. So now all they got is a nine thousand dollar legal bill and nothing to show for it. Yeah. Which is the same shit that the guy next to him is going to find out, but, you know, it'll take him a couple of years to learn that one. Yeah. So what, um, the other day I was on a cruise by, do some filming, hang out, see what's going on. You went to uh, your sister-in-law? What was all that about? That was Mother's Day bullshit. Oh, it was Mother's Day? As mothery day as they get. Food. Did the homie make any good dish this time? Uh, he made, um... You made fajitas. What's it? Good? Pretty good. This is a platter too? Do you have one of those too? I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I got you one better, dude. He was, he was showing me his custom made hand sewn leather German fly swatter. What? A fly swatter? That's like he's one to buy that fucking tape this much, you know? There's a market for that shit. Where do you get the spice water from? I have no fucking idea. Was it expensive or was it a novel? I thing? have no idea. I, 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 all I know is when he said custom made, no, handmade leather fly swatter. I just looked at him going, you're kidding, right? It's probably some oversight riding crop <laughs> shit. That's what it looked like to me, but yeah, it is. Basically, um... He bats the flies and they have like, before you hit me, you have any grape poupon. That's the fly, you know, because that's the style. Even it's his just... wife was laughing at him, dude. Yeah, who gets that shit? <laughs> but does he have a sous vide, his own little sous vide thing? He's sous vide food now? Oh, I'm sure he does. He's that kind of dude. I'd get one. But that's, uh, that was Mother's Day. That was Mother's Day. Oh, shit. So what else has been, you've been working too, right? Yeah, catching up with all the work that didn't get done while I was gone. None at all? Nothing. No response to emails? Nothing? Nothing, dude. I was... Off the grid? Off the grid, completely. I didn't answer emails. I didn't look at my phone. I didn't do shit. You said have fun. Yep. And And I did look at the news occasionally because the phone that I was on had Facebook and shit, but... Did you buy anything for yourself on this trip? No. No keepsake and even book? No. I, I bought a book. Uh, I lied. I bought myself a set of cufflinks. Really? Yeah. From Harrods? What kind of... Is it, those, is it the style of uh, the, the dispenser? <laughs> it's like, like it cost you like $500 cufflinks? It's these nice little... Yorkshire flower. You have French cuffs? Yeah. Nice, dude. Dude, I, I haven't had a French cuff. Well, if the fish were, I'd have to... I, I don't even have any clothing anymore. I should buy it. I forgot to buy t-shirts when I was in port. And I'm getting like, in my shirt. They're all like holes. And that's why I tucked this in. Because like there's a hole from working, you know, when I worked at that job. Uh, where you're leaning against the counter. Mm-hmm. And it wears out the fucking front. Because you're sl- cutting, you know, material for a... Slave driving company, yep. all that time. So I need new clothes, but two broke. I just don't need to go. I gotta go nowhere. I don't have work that requires to have, you know, to wear a shirt and tie. If I didn't work the job I do, I wouldn't own any of those clothes, dude. Is it mandatory to, to wear a, a tie? Can you just wear a nice suit and a shirt? I've had judges make comments about not showing up. The tie. 
but you were not wearing a fuck you t-shirt and like, you know, yeah, tank they, top. They can't be too hard on you about it. But the t- if you're wearing a s- no tie, I think the marriage you, you got your fucking well, here's bar the card. Thing. Well, that's the thing. It's like women don't wear ties, so where's the deal, you know? Yeah, I just, I don't get it. I mean, I'm not showing up with a, I'm with stupid t-shirts or, you know, <laughs> or yoga pants for dress wear. Did you see this? You were gone, but did you see this proclamation that Breakfast Before Breakfast wife made? Did you see that? How she fessed up to the, the, the destruction? And that was worded in there. I destroyed my husband. Everything. Remember we said years ago, we, she don't fuck you? <laughs> Never even did that one. Yeah. She said that. You bought her second car and she's trading it? She said that. How many houses have you had? She said that. But what was this realization? She seemed like a decent woman to me whenever you'd see her. And to come up this like, yes, you screwed our friend here. Where the, how come it took 15 years years to, to realize, yeah, I've been fucking this dude. Like, almost Auschwitz style. That's like... You know what it is? It's somebody's therapist is telling somebody to be honest about who they are with themselves and others, okay? That's what that's about. Because I was a therapist, I'd probably say, dude, that's pretty fucked. Yep. You're pretty fucked. Well, you can't say that. Yeah, I know, but that whole proclamation was like on the money, and you must have. Re- she must have realized this over. To co- yeah, I, I fucking foreclosed two houses on this cat. Yeah, I shop forever on fucking QVC and now Amazon since it was invented. Yeah, I quit my job. I don't work. Yeah, this guy can't even she pay his fucking job student. Pretty early, dude. Yeah, man. they were just dating, and she quit her job. I'm almost done paying my student loan, right? Because she it said in that thing, she prevented him from paying any bit of it. Yeah. Is he still like he just got out of school? Yeah, yeah, here I am. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. I wouldn't worry about it. He's got a look. He's got a good earning potential. Uh, what he needs to do is he needs to crack the whip on the wife, uh, limit the spending, and not worry about it. Any one of your Debtors isn't going to take the whole fucking, you know, cookie. But here's the thing. I mean, he himself entertained expensive things. $20 to homeless people, which is cool. But he entertained her because he could have put a kibosh on that one. He could have said, you know, hey, man, we can't keep spending. I'm not saying he'll fix it. I'm saying it's not unfixable. Oh, yeah. People come out of shit like that. Fixing it totally would be just... Getting a new girl, I mean, because he's capable, he's very charming. Yes, he could find another woman. And maybe to a certain degree, when they had this marital problems in recent times. You think his Catholic angst is going to let him? Well, but I'm just saying that maybe she fessed up to like, oh my God, I'm going to do my gravy train. And that's like just saying, mouthing off, like, so I can stay... In good. Oh, you think it's uh, By self-preservation design. kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, just sometimes come clean to the warden because sometimes in breakfast if you before come breakfast. To Jesus, you may keep your uh, day job. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's very likely. 